Hello. Today was a very important day. It is step three in me getting my life together. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Kind of. Not really. I was in dire need of giving my house some much needed attention. I was noticing that just whenever I would like open a drawer, specifically my junk drawers today, I'm dealing with that. And like, you know, whenever we have people over and they ask, oh, where's XYZ? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh my gosh. Whenever I find myself hesitating to tell them where something is, because I know wherever that item is, is just in a drawer of clutter or a closet of chaos. So I knew it was time to give it some of my attention. Sometimes I, my gosh, I can't even focus. Listen, my throat, my voice. Can we just address it? I'm doing my best and I feel like I am healing. It's just taking a little longer than I want it to. So thank you for sticking with me through sounding like this. Okay, I forgot I actually organized under here. And really, it's already organized. I just needed to declutter some things, get the trash out of here, put things where they belong. You know what I mean? Just tidy up, a general tidy up. So this isn't a spot that I, you know, would think to generally tidy up because it's tucked away underneath my sink. And oh my gosh, guess what you find when you clean everything. Okay. I have been looking for this razor. I must have packed it. Like when was our last trip in the summertime, in the summertime with a feeling is that I can't stop it even with my voice like this. Okay. So anyway, finally found my razor. Haven't shaved my pits since summertime, so there's that. Happy to have found it again. I'm just kidding. I've been using like Alex's and just random ones. I even just started using the replacement head and holding it in my hands, which I 1000% do not recommend. It is so uncomfortable, and I feel like I'm going to, you know, just cut myself wide open every time. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is... Anyway, so I'm glad that I found my razor. I even went to the store to buy another one and then I saw the price of them and I was like, I'll just go without shaving my pits because this is absolutely ridiculous. So anyway, glad that I found that. And um, under my sink, I don't know what was happening, but oh, oh, that's where I keep the bath bombs. And I don't know, I guess it's a long story that doesn't need to be told. But short story long, you know, it's like, is anyone ever going to look under there? Yeah, I am. And I don't like looking at chaos or destruction. So it just needed my attention. And I, you know, I much prefer to have things organized, even though my life I feel like is in shambles 99% of the time. It's like that 1% that just gives me that glimmer of hope that one day when my kids are slightly older, I will be able to have an organized space. Is this like a glimpse into my future into what I I might become into the human being that I was made to be (laughs) in my head I'm like I am made to be organized but in my heart I just don't have time I do my best and I feel like whenever I get 10 minutes or something it's like I never stop moving like how do I not have time to do certain things I literally don't do anything you know what I mean like I don't I don't sit around and do nothing you know what it is? I just have a lot of kids and attention. I give them my attention and I give them my time and that's where it goes, which I guess is more important than having a tidy home. But one day I feel like I might have a tidy home. (laughs) Today is not that day, but that's okay. So I'm showing you my secret weapon to clean my showers and it is, what is it? Scrubbing bubbles, like tile, whatever it is, the one with bleach mildew mold and mildew whatever I didn't realize how horrible my shower was until I started cleaning it and I was like oh wow you know what I mean I think for the most part I just put my blinders on ignorance is bliss when it comes to things like this because you think really a shower oh I I clean myself in the shower so it should get clean every time I'm in there no it that's not how it works unfortunately so it's the like the moisture buildup and the soap scum and all that good stuff. It's actually really disgusting in my shower and I hadn't cleaned it in months. So it was really 
uh, looking for my attention. And I just sprayed this stuff and let it sit for a minute. And then I went in with my tub scrubber or whatever the heck that thing is, got it off Amazon two, like a year ago, at least maybe two years ago, close to it. And it's fantastic. I love this thing. I have never charged it. When I got it out of the box, it was charged. And my kids play with it. They think it's a toy. And I'm terrified that their hair is like going to get wrapped up in the like spin head of it. It actually comes with different mop heads. Not mop, but it comes with different head attachments. And I was looking for them and I couldn't find them. All of that ties into like being organized, right? And uh, I had them, I have them in like a little basket in my cleaning closet but it was just so, you'll see it later in the video. It was such a mess that I couldn't even find it. I'm just, my life is in shambles, okay? I'm just doing my best to pick it up piece by piece over here. Just one piece at a time. So, ton of soap scum in my bathroom. I let the Tylex sit for just a few minutes. If you have a, a lot of mold and stuff, just let this stuff sit and then come back an hour or two later and just rinse it off. And oh my gosh, you're going to be amazed at how clean it gets your grout and stuff. But I just went in with this thing to like scrub it. And then I just, you know, wiped it clean with the, the, the water. And this is an oversight. I didn't put one of these in the girls' new bathroom in like our addition. One of the shower heads that like you can take down and move there's this stationary, and I really regret that decision. Listen, I regret so many decisions about the things that I have made in, in the addition. It's like these are decisions that I made literally two years ago I, with like, okay, you got to get it done. You got to make it. And then we did it, and it's like, okay, well, now we have to wait. And it's been two years, and it's just incredibly insane. But now, like, for example, the floors – the style floors and I'll show you because they're in kind of they're kind of in anyway they put the floors in and I wanted to match the rest of the house and so I picked out a style of flooring that looks like the rest of the house in the bedrooms it's like this very very dark wood and in the rest of the house it's real wood but in the addition I got LPV or LVP laminate vinyl I no, I don't even know what it's called planks or something I don't know but that's what I picked it's supposed to be like more durable easier to clean whatever it was more affordable so I was like that's it so it matches the rest of the house but like I don't love it in the rest of the house so why did I pick it out so now I should have picked like if I wanted what I actually wanted if I wasn't thinking of matching the rest of the house which I don't know why I was. I don't know why that was so important to me. But oh, you know why I was? Because I didn't want it to feel like an addition. I, I wanted it to feel like it was part of the house the whole time, you know? Anyway, so if I would have picked out different flooring, the one that I actually wanted, it would just be a really light wood, like a natural wood, not like a yellow wood, but like a really natural wood. Anyway, I didn't do that. So that's a decision I have to live with, but whatever, I'll live with it. I'll get a big carpet or something. But this particular day was gorgeous. The mornings here in Florida have been really nice. So I opened up that back window, that huge slider, which is one of my favorite parts about this house. It's just like, it's not a normal slider door. It like opens completely. And it's just so wonderful to have all that open air come in. It's like living outside, you know, like bringing the outdoors in. It's lovely. It's awesome. I love it. So anyway, that was really nice to have that crisp, cool air come in. Now I'm just tidying up the living room. It doesn't look that bad, but it's like all the little things, you know, it's like Play-Doh shoved in the carpet and kinetic sand, which I don't even know where that came from. You know, I, actually I do. Last year, Christmas, someone got it for us and they were like, oh, it's supposed to be really easy to clean. And I was like, um, you don't have kids. <laughs> it is not. It gets everywhere. But you know, intentions were good and kids actually do love playing with it so it's fine anyway I love pouring these fragrance oils let me take a little drink cheers to you hope you're having a great morning so these fragrance oils are so great and the scents I actually just went on the website the other day magic candle company those are this the fragrances that I use and they're just some of my favorites I gravitate more toward them than anything else I've ever had in my life. 
So um, one thing is the baby has started like grabbing that thing. So I'm going to have to move it somewhere. I don't know where to move it. I don't, I don't have a lot of flat surfaces and like, I don't know. Anyway, so I put in poison apple and Hocus Pocus is another favorite. It's like cinnamony. But I went on the website the other day to try to look for Christmassy scents. And I think I have one. It's like Christmas Town something. And it, oh my gosh, it smells divine. But I'm sure there are so many more on the website that are needing to come home with me, right? And they usually have a sale. I don't buy anything unless it's like on sale, like buy one, get buy two, get one free. Or I think one time they had 20% off or something like that. So wait for a sale. If there isn't one right now, I do have an affiliate code, not a code affiliate link. If you want to use it, if not, just search magic candle company and you you won't hurt my feelings. It's fine. (laughs) Anyway, I should ask them for a code, maybe a discount code or something. Okay. So I've moved on. This little section has like the counting bears and like pencils, erasers, glue sticks, that kind of thing. And we access it all the time. So it just gets messy because we just shove stuff in it. If you know, and then specifically Wolfgang has learned how to open these and then he'll pull stuff out. Um, mainly the counting bears and then he'll dump the counting bears everywhere and then try to eat them. And I'm like, that's a choking hazard. Get out of it. Do you know what I mean? So I have to put those up somewhere else, but for now, That's what this space is. It's got coloring books and stickers and all the learning supplies that I like to use. And then on this side of the cabinet, another point of contention where if I have stuff all over the living room and we have guests coming over, I'm like, just shove it in there. You know what I mean? Like in my head, I just think it's my closet is the dumping ground or my bedroom or this little cabinet if it's closer and it's small enough where I can just shove in here. And oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I actually found... A Christmas gift left over from last year from Wentworth's teachers. They always do like a some kind of craft and they're just the sweetest and nicest. So this was like a silhouette of his, um, what's it called? His not portfolio of his profile. And I just love that so much. It's just so sweet and special. And gosh, he's getting so big. I was waking him up this morning and his feet are massive. I'm like, you're getting big. Like he's getting big. And then I'm like touching Wolfgang's feet, you know, his like chubby little baby foot with all the extra fat on the bottom to keep him, his bones safe. And I'm like, his chubby little foot, I could kiss it. I would never kiss big old Wentworth's stinky foot, you know, (laughs) like it's just crazy how fast they grow. It's not fair. It's really not. But I mean, that's part of life. So what are you going to do about it? It's actually exciting watching them grow. It's bittersweet, obviously. You guys know. Anyway, so my candles, I even thought about pulling all of those out and reorganizing. And I was like, yeah, pass on that. Not much I can do there. So the top of this, and you know what? One of the hardest parts of actually like cleaning out a space like this is dealing with the aftermath where you pull it all out and you're like, okay, this belongs somewhere else. This belongs, you know, even in a different room or wherever or the garbage. And then you have to go and put all of those random things in the random spots. It's like everything has a home. And what's that saying? I think it's like a military saying everything has a house and everything needs to be in its spot or you, you, you know what I'm talking about. Actually, let me look it up. Okay, not even Google knows what I'm talking about. Google's like, I don't know, girl. I I can't. It's And then it pulled up, mil, what are the military sayings? Uh, no man's land, got your six, on the double, balls to the wall, <laughs> bite the bullet. Wow, this is great. Hold on, what is slang? Bag your bandit? Oh, dang, that's kind of dark. Barney style. All right. Well, anyway, that's enough of that. So I've moved on to the kitchen, needing to get some dishes done from the night before. And then, you know, just a general tidy up from this morning. Does anyone else struggle with like breakfasts in the morning? I'm trying to keep it really simple. Either pancakes. It's like my kids, if they woke up the first time I went in their room, we wouldn't have an issue. But the problem is they wake up like an hour after the first time I go in their room. And I'm like, you know, rushing around at the very last minute. I'm like, you don't have time to do X, Y, Z because you slept in. Anyway, I know I'm not alone in the chaos of the morning, but I'm trying to look for easy breakfasts that aren't super unhealthy. Like this morning we had cinnamon rolls, which I mean, obviously a home run, 
but they're cinnamon rolls, like zero nutrition, you know? And then this morning we had, you know, toast, sometimes jelly, sometimes Nutella, sometimes, to, I mean, toast, listen, I love a good piece of toast. <laughs> okay. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm just cleaning up. What do you do for breakfast? Do you do like make ahead? My kids won't eat like, well, I mean, they will eat breakfast sandwiches, but I don't want to make breakfast sandwiches every morning. I guess I could freeze them. I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't know anything about life, about being a mom. Actually, I know a little bit. Not a lot. I'm still figuring it out. I think that's the secret. You just learn as you go and you just keep learning. That's the secret. Oh, okay. Wolfgang is on my lap and he has a paintbrush and he is painting the microphone. So I'm sorry if you hear that too. Okay. Ma speaking of mom life. All right. The dishwasher is done. I always love, listen, I used to have rules like don't put XYZ in the dishwasher. Now I just throw it all in, throw it all in. I don't care because if I don't have to clean it with my two hands, it's a win. Okay. And most of the stuff nowadays is dishwasher safe. And if it's not, I don't buy it. So in my head, I've been wanting to really declutter my whole kitchen just go after it, organize it, like literally get rid of every dish I have, like in my head. I'm like, just get rid of all of it, start from scratch and buy stuff like from Ikea that just nestles into itself. You know what I mean? And just streamline it, all of it. But then I'm like, oh, but all of the dishes that I love, you know, so I'm, I'm stuck in between the middle there. And so I have yet to declutter because it just seems paralyzing, but I will take one little bite at a time and tackle like this drawer, my junk drawer. How does it end up looking like this? I'll tell you how. It's like one thing at a time gets shoved in there. And then the other junk drawer I showed you, but I had to cut it out because it had a bunch of like bank stuff in it because that's where we put our mail and stuff. So anyway, that one is so full. That stuff is falling underneath whenever we open and close it. So that really needed my attention too. It's like one junk drawer isn't enough, I guess. And it's not even like, oh, one junk drawer is enough. It's like, this is the lar it's, this is a large drawer. What is wrong with us that we can't keep this thing tidy? You know what I mean? Like tools end up in here. I don't know what the heck. This drawer is a catch-all, truly. It's like my life. That's a visual representation of my brain, I'm pretty sure. Just everything dumped in there. No rhyme or reason. No organization. Just everything kind of spilling out at once. And so I'm just trying to take a minute and organize it. And when I say a minute, I mean this took me so much longer than I thought it would. Again, because of all the like excess stuff that I think, okay, this doesn't belong here. It belongs here. This doesn't belong here. It belongs here. This doesn't belong here. It belongs, you guessed it, here. And all of the here's are three different places, but times that by 500 because there's 500 things in this drawer that don't belong there that I had to go and organize and put away elsewhere. Do you know what I mean? So that's when it becomes overwhelming to me. It's not so much like cleaning the drawer and getting it nice and tidy because that's easy. That's the easy part. It's the like finishing up the project that is, I wouldn't say exhausting, but it's like tiresome and like, mentally I'm like I don't care just throw it away you know what I mean surely I don't need it if it's in here throw it out but I don't want to throw it out because that's wasteful and then I think that's part of like a hoarding mentality <laughs> I'm not sure but it's stuff that we do use so I, I think it's fine anyway I didn't clean this drawer probably as well as some of you are like oh go in there with the vacuum and spray it no it was just like good enough okay because that's how I clean if it's good enough it's that's good enough for me and I don't care you know um also found an ultrasound that was from Meredith don't know still don't know what to do with all my ultrasounds I ended up throwing that one away because it was so worn and you could barely tell that it was a baby and I do have a picture of it on my phone so that's what I started doing just taking pictures of them on my phone and eventually my phone will just break down from all the video clips and pictures that I have the other day someone asked not someone one of my kids asked Mom, is there a day that you go that you don't take pictures of the kids? And I said, like, I thought, I don't think there is. Like, if, if there is, it's very, very rare. 
Few and far between are the days that I go without taking a video or a photo of at least one child of mine. And that is exactly why I have 9,000 videos and probably 25,000 pictures. I should go and see just how many pictures I have. I, it might be more than 25,000. Is that a stretch? I actually, what's, what's a lot? Hold on. I'm going to open up my albums. All photos. 56. Thousand, fifty six thousand eight hundred and seventeen to be exact, and then I have videos. Oh, nearly five thousand. Oh gosh, it's just so much. I don't listen. The price of phones, because the other day my phone wasn't really working, and I was like, oh, the storage is probably full, you know, because I record a lot on my phone for videos and stuff, so I don't always delete them, like the shop with me videos. And so I was like, okay, well, I need to go through and like delete some of that crap. But then I'm going through and I'm like, I can't delete some of this stuff. You know what I mean? Like, even if it's a 15 second clip of my kid, I just think in 20 years, I'm going to look back on this and think this is like the cutest video ever, you know? So I used to be organized and have time to like, upload all my clips to Final Cut, which is my editing software program, upload them all, and then put it all in one video, upload it to my personal YouTube, and then save it like that. So it's like what, an hour worth of clips. And then I'm able to delete it from my phone. But then I started doing that and saving them on my phone because I was like, well, what if that one gets deleted? You know what I mean? So anyway, and now I can't like upload videos in the same way because it's it's a long story, but it doesn't show up when I plug my phone into my computer. It's a whole thing. So it's like, what do you do with all your videos? I've got the cloud. I've got all that. But I don't know. And I, ha I think I have the phone with the most storage. Oh, that's what I wanted to say too, is phones are so dang expensive. But if you think of how much we're on our phones and how much we use it for, really, we're getting a bargain. <laughs> like I watch videos on my phone I take videos and then like if you think of the picture quality and stuff like that like I haven't taken out my DSLR camera in years because the camera quality on my phone is unmatched it's so good anyway I can go off on a tangent like phones are crazy I can't I mean really they're really expensive I don't want to talk about it but I've had mine for two years so I guess like if you break it down by day same with a mattress, like Alex and I are looking into getting a new mattress. And so we're looking into Stearns and Foster, obviously because it is unmatched. The quality level, you know, if you've never heard of Stearns and Foster, well, you did not grow up with someone who worked in the furniture industry like I did. And so Alex and I are looking into it. We're like, okay, well, we might as well invest, right? That's what they call it, an investment, okay? And so I can sleep anywhere. I can sleep on a hardwood floor. I don't give a hoot. Let me sleep if I think that's just like the sleep deprivation. I mean, I haven't been able to sleep. So if I'm ever able to do that, I don't care where I am. But Alex is the complete opposite spectrum for a human being. He needs like the perfect sleep environment. But anyway, so we're looking into Stearns and Foster. And if you think like, okay, if we're going to have this thing for, you know, 10, 20 years, if you break it down the cost daily, it's not so bad. <laughs> okay, anyway. I don't know how I got off on that tangent, but I am finding a lot of gems as I'm cleaning out this drawer and I'm realizing, wow, half the crap in here I don't even use. It's like, here, here's the thing. If I clean a drawer and it's open and ready, then people just shove a bunch of crap in there. And I'm like, dude, I just cleaned that. It doesn't stay cleaned. How long will this stay cleaned? That is my question. And the answer is probably two weeks before we get enough mail in here that just, I don't know. I've got flashcards in here for the kids. I've got just all kind of bug spray. Those balloons have been floating around my kitchen for probably four months. I don't know. I, I should just throw them away. They're floating around my kitchen, but now guess what that noise is? They're in, they're on my desk right here. I'm holding them in my hands. Just they're floating around the whole house. And I'm like, this is like, I don't know, 10 bucks. Those things aren't cheap. But I, I don't want to get rid, throw it away because, you know, obviously that's money. But I have yet to put it in its proper place. I'll do that eventually. Hey, I'm sounding a little better. Don't you think? I don't know. Kind of. It goes in and out. So I, ho I hope I hope in a couple of days. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just hope I start sounding a little better soon for you. Uh, or this might be the voice for the rest of my life. 
Would you still be my friend if I sounded like that? I don't know why I had to distort my voice as if it doesn't sound bad enough on its own already. But would you, you know what I'm trying to say? Like the girlfriends who are like, would you date me if I was a worm? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just the most ridiculous statements ever. And if the boyfriend's like, no, then they get, you know, offended or something. Like they're actually going to turn into a worm. You know what I'm talking about. Like, would you still be my friend if this was my voice for the rest of my life? I think I think 30% of you would stick around, maybe. I don't know. Uh, thanks for enduring is what I'm trying to say. Okay, guess what I found in the junk drawer. Guess what I found. I don't know when I bought this thing. Probably 2020, right? That's when we were all in the stou- sourdough kick. So I found woo, the freeze-dried sourdough starter. I don't know where I got this. Etsy, Amazon. I, I want to say it was like 11 bucks. Why did I do that? I know you can start it on your own. Oh, crap. I got to feed it. What time is it? I still have a little time. I set an alarm on my phone, actually. Anyway, I put the sourdough starter together. Who am I? I actually tried to do it a while ago, but um, I didn't have the right flour. <laughs> and so I feel like, well, I botched it. And then I bought the right flour and I never like used it. So I'm using it today and I'm going to... Today's the day, you guys, that I am beginning the rest of my life, you know, and I have a sourdough starter in my kitchen. No telling how long that's going to last. So far, it hasn't been 24 hours, but we're going strong. It hasn't died yet. I actually, oh my gosh, that's what I was waiting on. Okay, so I have a family member and I really only see him like, you know, holidays. And so last Christmas... I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. Listen, last Christmas he came over, and he started talking about something, and then something, something else, and for whatever reason, we landed on sourdough, and he said, oh, I have a sourdough, a mature one, and I said, oh my gosh, and then he said, I've had it for like a few, a couple years, and I said, oh, there's your, you know, t- pandemic baby. And that, and it was. So he said to me that he was going to bring me his mature sourdough starter so I could like get things going. And he hasn't done that. So we all have to hold him accountable. Okay. He definitely does not watch my videos 1000%, but I'm making the mental note right now to hold him accountable. So if I see him this year and he doesn't bring it, um, I'm going to take his gift back. (laughs) Okay. Anyway, so. Since I don't have his super awesome three-year-old mature sourdough starter, I'm going to start my own because everyone has to start somewhere. And I don't know how old this uh, freeze-dried starter is or how good it is or if I'm doing this all wrong. I don't care. I'm doing it. And everyone has to start somewhere, right? So I'm taking one tablespoon of flour per the instructions and then one tablespoon of water and then the sourdough starter and just putting it in a jar. And I know that jar is not big enough because I have a large family and I know I'm going to need a bigger one. And I also know, see, I know a lot of things, but I don't do anything about it. (laughs) I also know that I did not add enough water to this. I should have added a splash more because it was too dry. And I knew that, but I was, here's the problem. I just don't care enough. And so I left it. And so today I'll add a little bit more water. And I'm using like the instruction said filtered water, room temperature. I was like, I don't have room temperature water. And then I remembered, ooh, I was cleaning the bathroom earlier and I found a bottle of water. So I used that. And then the flour, it's very specific, okay? They say it's easy to do sourdough. I don't believe it so far. You need very specific flour. It's like un, untouched by God, okay? It's like the flour sent down by Jesus Christ himself. And that's the only kind you can use. And I found some at my local Publix. So (laughs) there's that. Anyway, I'm excited to have that start. I don't know how long it will last. But again, it's like just working on a little weekend project, okay? Speaking of weekend projects, holy cow. Yesterday, Avelina came home from her week-long hiking trip, which unbelievable she is so fantastic she makes me so proud every day I can't believe she did that and she's just I mean amazing right so anyway we were waiting for her bus to come back which was a story and a half if yeah okay it's a story for another time which I probably will never tell you but anyway so 
Her bus came home way, 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 way later than we thought. So we had some time. Alex and I, we hired a babysitter. We wanted to, you know, spend some time with Avelina. When she got home, we were like wanting to give her our undivided attention so she could tell us all about it. So we were waiting for a bus to come in. And so we found ourselves at Lowe's. <laughs> and so we went in and I was like, you know what? And if you follow me on Instagram, you know, because I ordered wallpaper. I did. I just ordered wallpaper for the bathrooms, for the bathroom and the addition. I'm so excited and pumped. You'll see it when it comes in. And uh, spoiler alert, it's amazing. It's just as amazing as you probably think it is in your head, okay? And so it's not Lily Pulitzer. I'll say that, sadly. I couldn't find any. But I found something as close as I could get. So ordered that. And then I went down the rabbit hole of wallpaper. And I was like, oh, my gosh, laundry room. Someone said, you should put this one, the one that I didn't order, in my laundry room. And I was like, oh, my gosh, you're so correct. So then I started looking at laundry rooms. And I found this laundry room of my dreams. I was like, if my laundry room looked like this, I might do laundry all day, every day. Well, here's the secret. I already do laundry all day, every day. So I said, this is perfect. So this is the final drawer, by the way. Mm, chef's kiss. Looks amazing. Found a couple more scissors, and I was happy about that. I'll probably find more when we clean out Avelina's room when we uh, move her bedroom. Anyway, this is the second one. So amazing. Alfred in there. Alfred, I should call him. That's just where he lives. I don't know why. That's just, that just is. And we don't question it. Okay. So what was I saying? Laundry room. Um, lilac. Okay. Maybe I'll show, I'll share with you in like a future video. I'll show you my inspiration photos, but I am so, so anyway, we found ourselves at Lowe's and I started picking out swatches. And so now I have a handful of like lilac, purple, bluish swatches to put in my laundry room to see what looks best in there. Because as you know, I don't have a skylight as I thought I was going to have. Uh, so mad about that. We took out the window. I mean, the window's still there. Whatever. It's a long story. But we, that's, that's a hallway now. So I used to get natural light in there and I don't anymore. So I don't know what color will look good. I might do a skylight with like a tube thing. I don't know. I'm still, we're still deciding. Because I really love natural light, if you can't tell. And I don't have it in the laundry room. And that was one of my favorite parts of the whole house. So anyway, picked out a bunch of swatches. Really excited about it. All you need to know right now is that it's like a lilac-y, purple-y, blue-y color light. Like a light, like, mm, oh my gosh. And then the wallpaper I have picked out, just think of the most elegant wallpaper that your grandma would have ever used in her bathroom. And that's that. And I said, this is, I mean, this is it. I don't think it gets any better, right? I haven't ordered it yet. I'm still waiting because I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do the wallpaper. I've never done anything like that before. I got the kit and I got wallpaper off of Wayfair. So if it is a success in the bathroom, then I'll be able to challenge myself in like paint cabinets and that kind of stuff. But for now, it's like a pipe dream, redoing the laundry room. But, you know, I, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I can do it. I see other people do it. But then if I start a project like that, I'm like, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I'll do my best, but it probably won't come out the way that I want it to. So it's, uh, you know, I'll see. We'll see how it goes. I guess I could always hire someone to paint the cabinet. I feel like a laundry room is a good place to start because there aren't, there are very minimal cabinets, you know? Oh my gosh. Speaking of my Monica closet, I don't know how it always looks like this. It just always does. That's our, another dumping ground where I'm like, if I have to hide something or I don't feel like putting it away. I even looked at it. I was like, should I even clean this? I don't really care. I thought I was try trying to talk myself out of it. It's not that bad. There's stuff everywhere. It's just shoved and thrown in there. It's just a wonky under the stairs storage. Lucky to have a storage closet like this. I just don't think I set it up the right way. I don't really know. I did my best. So I do like this hanging part because I can hang a lot of stuff on there. And I even went through some of my reusable bags and thought I was going to get rid of a lot. I ended up only getting rid of like three, but it's fine. That's fine. Oh, and my beach bag broke. So have to transfer that in a minute. So you'll see me do that. But I didn't even know it was broken. I don't know when it broke, but it did. Oh, wait. I don't know. I could guess. It doesn't matter. So anyway, there's so much in here. Like 15 hats. Like half of these aren't even ours. I don't know where they come from. People just leave their hats, you know. 
And so we accumulate them. And I'm like, well, I don't want to get rid of them because if they come back and they're like, hey, do you have my hat? You know, so it's just in this closet tucked away. It's no big deal. And then in the back there, you'll see that's like my excess cleaning products. And then the top left basket in the white, that white basket, that's a bunch of attachments. I don't really know. I don't even know if I have the vacuum for that. My Dyson is still in here, which I should just get rid of because I never, ever, ever use it. I don't even think it's charged. But for whatever reason, I can't get rid of it. I think it's because of the price that we paid for it. I'm like, I can't get rid of this crap. Oh, and this day, I didn't even show you. We tidied up Avelina's room and like cleaned her floors because that's like the ac- excess point to the addition. And so her floors are always like dusty and white and do you know, you know what I mean? Like all the drywall stuff. And um, so we're constantly cleaning her floors in there, but we did a really good job cleaning it uh, this time. So um, yeah, this is where we store like vacuums and stuff. What was I saying? Oh, 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 paper, plastic bags, all that good stuff. And then the bottom shelf, I store like all of the coolers. And I have a lot of coolers, mostly because I love them and I have a problem. I'm very well aware of it. And I think it's fine if I have the space to store it. Luckily, when the addition gets finished, we're going to have two more closets. And um, I'm going to have, you know, that much more storage. I'm thinking, and I need your opinion, the the closet guy hasn't given me a quote yet, so I still have time to change my mind. So instead of the wire racks, we're doing built-ins. And so in the closets out there, we're just doing typical shelving, like a just a blank shelf. I know you know what I'm talking about. And so I thought, well, should we do drawers on the bottom of a linen closet? Or is that like n- too pigeonhole Like I don't know what the right thing to do is. So would you put drawers on the bottom of a linen closet? I feel like that could be beneficial. I don't know. I also feel like it, it might not. But... So that that's where my mind is. I'm thinking of built-ins, closets, all the closets, except for my closet. And you know what I mean. Uh, so that's where my mind's been lately. How have you been? How has your mind been? Hope you've been feeling well. I feel like everyone and their mom is getting sick these past few weeks. And just, it's a domino effect. It like went around my kid's school and... I mean, it's it's been wild and crazy. So I hope this season is like being kind to you. Um, it's getting better for us over here. OK, and then this is the finished product. Like what the heck? Oh, and you know what I was looking for? My my steam shot, my Bissell steam shot. I literally can't find it anywhere. I'm sure it's in my laundry room, which I also need to clean. But I thought, well, another day because I just don't want to right now. It's just too much to handle. And. And this is the part where it's like, okay, now that that space is organized and tidy, I need to deal with all the crap that I took out of it, you know? So that that's one of those bags. It was like a pool bag. Um, and we brought the kids out. So it had like bathing suits and snacks and all that good stuff. So then I had to take it out and like um, a pseudo diaper bag. I think there were a few diapers in there. Take it out and like put the stuff where it belongs, you know? So anyway, did that and that... That stuff takes just extra time that I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck? So under here, under my sink, this is another point where I thought this, every time I open this thing, it makes me upset. I need to tackle it. How do I have this many cleaning products? For someone whose house is not even that tidy, how do I have this much, right? I mean, you'd think. So anyway, cleaning under here, organizing a little bit, getting rid of like some empty bottles, taking a mental inventory of the things that I have. And I was so happy to find this, um, like a soap dispenser. I actually went to the store with a pump, a little soap dispenser with a pump. And my favorite is the method kind because it's like the perfect shape. And I stored it down here, which I thought I threw it away. And I was so happy to find it. So that was like the huge takeaway from this entire day. I was so glad I found that because I actually went to the store just to buy a new one and I couldn't find it and um I thought oh are they not selling it anymore are they discontinued the problem with my target is that it's not the greatest target (laughs) oh no Wolfgang's getting into my my snacks my editing snacks he spilled them all over the floor but that's fine it'll keep him busy for like 45 seconds okay anyway the target that's a little a little further away from me is so nice, 
But sometimes I just don't have time to drive, which might sound ridiculous. Like I don't have an extra 10 minutes both ways. So really 20 minutes. I'm like, that's 20 minutes is a long time when you have a baby. Okay. Right. Anyway, especially when they don't like the car. So under here, I had like samples. Do you ever get samples, just random samples? I'm like, I don't even know where this came from. And I've had it for a year and I need to just use it up. I keep it with good intentions like, oh, next time I put a load in the dishwasher, I'll use this. No, I won't. So I finally, I have like three of them and I put them in with my dishwasher tablet. So hopefully I'll remember to do that next time I wash dishes or do the dishwasher. And so this hand soap, not hand soap, dish soap, that's the one I'm talking about. Like the dish soap pump. Man, I was so happy to find that. And then I found that Method dish soap at the thrift store, which is like the most random place to find it. But I grabbed them both and they were like three bucks each. So I got a screaming deal on that. Okay, moving on to the bathrooms. Uh, I didn't film myself cleaning the entire thing just because, you know, toward the end I run out of steam and I'm like, I don't even care if I film it. I'm just going to do it. You know what I mean? So (laughs) anyway, So I'm just taking my window cleaner and cleaning the cabinets. Do any of you do this too? Just say yes, okay? Because I don't even care when, you know, I used to only clean with like Windex. Now I can't even stand the smell of Windex anymore because it's so strong. And and you know, I haven't smelled it in a while, but the last time I smelled it, I just remember thinking, holy jeez, how do people do this? So anyway. That's why I don't clean with it anymore. Okay, now, oh, hold on to your seats, everybody. I've made it to the closet. Some of you asked me because I shared clips of my closet on Instagram for like a thread up thing. And they said, oh my gosh, is your closet clean like that for real? It was for real like that. And then I did the thrift haul. And so that's like all the excess (laughs) that I just need to put away. Oh, and I needed to um, switch my bag out, my beach bag. And I said, Well, good thing I got a beach bag last time I was at the thrift store. Okay, sorry about that. He's fine. Don't worry about it. (laughs) Don't worry about the screaming baby. (laughs) He's fine for real. Uh, That's how they talk. Okay, anyway, and then I noticed that they left the security tag on. What a bunch of punks. What a bunch of punks. And so I don't even care about it. I don't know. Like, what am I going to do? You know what I mean? This bag's probably going to break. I'm not going to bring it back up there. And then they're going to be like, oh, you, I don't, I don't know what they're going to say, but I definitely paid for it. Okay. That's all I have to say about it. So I'm actually really happy to see this beach bag go, this green and white one. I did not like it. I got it off Amazon for way too much money. Gosh, way too, I want to say it was like 40 bucks. Oh my gosh. It hurts to say it out loud. Maybe 44. Oops. I didn't cut that out. Okay. So anyway, the rope that you hold it by, miserable. Mi- who designed that thing? And then who gave it a bunch of good reviews on Amazon? You know what I mean? It does have a lot of pockets, but not great. When you ha- when it's really heavy and it's like you have a long way to walk and it's digging into your shoulders and stuff like that. Okay, so now I'm finally tackling my floor drobe, the wardrobe on the floor of my closet. And I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough hangers. And I started to go through my tops And I was like, oh, surely I can declutter some of this stuff and, then, and, you know, get some more hangers. So then one piece I thought, oh, I can get rid of this. And then I held it up to myself and it changed my mind. And then I didn't even get halfway through. And I just, I was like, whatever, I'll be fine. Ended up having, I had enough hangers. And so that was fun. That was exciting. I should declutter even more. I feel like if I got rid of 90% of the stuff in here, I would live my life. It wouldn't really affect me that much, but it's like, do I want to live with 90% less of my wardrobe? No. So I don't. And that's my life. And I don't care when I feel like decluttering, I will, but that day is not today. But I am glad that I was able to get everything off the floor for the most part. I still have some like Thanksgiving bags that I left on the floor and stuff like that. But, oh yeah. And then my shoes, I was like, oh, I should go through some of my shoes because, you know, obviously I don't wear them all. Um, except for the clogs. Surprisingly, I wear those way more than like any other shoes. So I'm definitely can't get rid of those. You know what I mean? But I recently bought a bunch of boots and I don't really have a place to put them. I mean, I could, I mean, obviously this closet's huge. I could put them literally anywhere, but anyway, that's, uh, 
Take a shot of water every time I say anyway, right? Anyway, <laughs> that's it. Um, I feel like we made a lot of progress in this video. Thanks for enduring. I feel like my voice has really like taken it to the next level. This is the most normal I have sounded in the past 10 days. So we've really made a breakthrough here and I couldn't have done it without you. So thanks for that. And thanks for being here while I organized all of the areas in my life. We did junk drawers. I did my closet. This was really a point of contention because whatever reason is, I just dump everything right at the entrance of my closet. I'm like, this is the worst idea ever. But anyway, that's what it looks like in the end. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.